All right, the time is here. Take advantage. If you're interested in promoting your brand here at Viral Hip Hop News, music, brand, or even yourself, email me, Sam Ant at dlsmediainc1 at gmail.com for more information. Don't wait. Let's go. All right, all right. What up, y'all? It's your man Sam Ant here at Viral Hip Hop News. What's going on? Hit that like button, smash that notification bell, and subscribe to the brand. Viral Hip Hop News, appreciate y'all. Miss y'all. It's good to be back. Let's get to work. All right, it's been a lot of hip-hop drama going on, man, and the kind of hip-hop drama I'm here to see. Now, I'll make it perfectly clear. I do not want to see any physical violence. I don't want to see anybody getting hurt from these situations. But I'm also going to be completely honest in saying I do love some competition. I do love when my hip-hop artists, who's the best? Who the best at it? Let's go at it. Let's put it on wax. Let's see who's the best. Kendrick Lamar dropped a nuke a couple weeks ago on Future and Metro Boomin's uh, album, sending shockwaves through the industry, going at J. Cole and Drake in particular. Then we seen J. Cole respond to that on his latest album. I think the song is called 7 Minute Drill. Got some reaction, got some reviews. Then J. Cole went live and said that he felt dumb doing it. And then that kind of went under the wayside. Everybody was asking and waiting to see if Drake was going to say something. Now, personally, I ain't want Drake to say shit. It wasn't, a, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a place for Drake, in my opinion, at the time. I wanted to see J. Cole do it. I want to see these two heavyweights, these two titans go at it. But here it is. It was Drake. And Drake took it personal, and he went at everybody. Uh, Drake went at Ross. Drake went at Future. Drake went at Metro Buman. Drake went at Ja fucking Morant. Jay went, uh, Drake went at a number of people. Uh, uh, K-Dot, a lot of people. And I was surprised to hear that Rick Ross, I don't think an hour or two after the diss dropped, had some nukes for Drake in particular. Now, let me say this. If there is a battle rap beat winner, whoever produced that track for Rick Ross is winning like a motherfucker right now. That beat is crazy. And that's why I enjoy the record. I enjoy Rick Ross' saying. I enjoy Rick Ross coming in it. I was surprised he was in it. Um, Pardon me for not really knowing inside information when it comes to beats and and little spats and shit and what's going on in hip-hop, but I thought Drake and I thought Rick Ross were cool. I thought they were very cool. Then they stopped following each other on social media. I don't follow and get into all that bullshit. But here we are, here we stand, and here it is. Styles P, member of the Locks, one of the baddest and one of the most ruthless hip-hop artists we've ever seen, he checked in and he talked about the situation. I want to read what he said, and then I want to kind of share my thoughts even further. He said this. He said, not that anyone asked me, but it's pretty simple. Whoever can be the pettiest and most disrespectful and not worry about crossing boundaries while being witty and applying pressure will win. Let the games begin. I'm in the audience with the popcorn. Hoping this brings back competitive emceeing when it's all said and done. I would bet a fingernail. No one is going to get hurt. So this is verbal warfare, which I like to see. Don't. Judge me. Now, if he's saying better fingernail, don't sleep on that shit. Somebody ever lose a fingernail, like a whole one, not talking about clipping your joint, but take a whole fingernail off. They do that shit in, in torture and in, 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 in what's interrogation interviews and stuff. That ain't no joke, right? And you also got to keep in mind the source. Styles P is one of the most ruthless and one of the most just uh, ruthless is the perfect word. MCs when it comes to beef I have ever heard. I don't know if you guys remember, but back when the locks was beefing with the rock, I remember Styles P in particular. When Aaliyah passed away, and she was freshly passed away, he went right at Dame and Jay's neck and said, and I'm paraphrasing, F Aaliyah rock the boat, some something, something. That's just another bitch wearing a rock aware coat. And I was like, oh my God, Styles is going to hell. I couldn't believe it. But he went there. And no one died, no one got hurt. You know what I'm saying? And he's right. The pettiest and the, and the most ruthless is going to win this battle. And I just enjoy the competitive spirit back into it. I enjoy the fact that we got rappers not out here laying out the blueprint of what they did or murders they committed. I appreciate the fact that we have lyrical creativity, people actually thinking about things and throwing bars and, and metaphors together. I appreciate that shit. I did not want Drake to come out and say anything just simply because I didn't think is much of a megastar. Don't let me, don't, don't get it twisted. That Drake is. I didn't think he was qualified to come in here and do it. And although I wasn't really feeling his flow, he, he, he threw some he threw some daggers now. He threw some jabs. Drake got bars, all right? I'm not saying he ain't got bars. I'm just not always with his delivery. But he got bars, 
And I got to applaud him for saying, nah, F this. Y'all not going to keep throwing my name out there and thinking I'm weak. I got something to say to y'all. So I applaud Drake for that. Can't wait to see if Kendrick responds. And if he does, I hope he responds in a way I was hoping J. Cole made him. And they really let the demon out in the monster rock. I'm tired of all this melodic shit. I'm tired of all this different melody. Nah, nah K. Doc. Get me on some Black of the Berry, the Sweet of the Juice. Get me on some Rigor Mortis. Let me get, let me, you know what I mean? Let me hear some shit, K. Doc. I appreciate it. I'm here for it. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of the situation. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Got some big news. Like I said, I'll be going live a lot more to talk about different things involving myself and involving the platform. Some big news coming your way very soon. Enjoy the weather, man. We got some good things coming your way. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. Love y'all. Love yourselves. And I'm out of here, man. Peace.